Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, I want to talk to you about something that I call soul forcing. Soul forcing. I know that sounds maybe a li little bit ominous to some people. I don't intend it to sound like that. We call this sometimes the higher will versus the lower will. Now, what you're going to find in this season of energy, because it is highly energetic and you may feel so crappy, that your soul is forcing something or forcing you to do something or forcing you to finally get on board with what this is really about. So what, you know, what do we mean by this? Well, the higher will wants what's better for you, the lower will is frequently kind of stuck, stuck in the old paradigm, stuck in the same rut, stuck in the same routines, the same people, the same circumstances. As we are seeing worldwide, it is not just the chaos, it is a lot of um, disastrous things that are happening that are forcing things to change and they're forcing rebuilding and they're forcing a lot of things. Now, it doesn't always have to deal with highly destructive things. And my heart goes out to the people in Maui. My heart goes out to everywhere that there's been wildfires. I've been to both places. It's a lovely place. I, I, I especially Lahaina, I can't even imagine just wiped out. If we've never really understood before why some of our ancestors just left the place, I think we're seeing some of this. But the point being, it means leaving the old, leaving the old behind, starting fresh, rebuilding, being new. And, you know, these are ways that we would not really wish it on anyone. For your own personal life, soul forcing on your journey means that sometimes there may seem that you lose something only to gain something. And it's important to kind of look for those silver linings, to be optimistic, to try to turn the lemons into lemonade, you know, however you do that. But when your higher self is trying to align you to the will to get out of something, get out of the toxic stuff, get out of the drama, get out of the chaos. It happens through your body. It happens through especially your light body. That is a part of how you transition. You transit out of one level to another level, or you transit from point A to point B. Now, this can happen especially if you are you know, someone who is very aware of the energies of retrogrades. In this new moon that we're having here in August, I will say this, that this is definitely a transitional thing. This is definitely something where you might be digging deep for that final little dregs at the bottom of your barrel. This may be something where finally something can float to the top because your energy is amenable to getting on with it, getting it out, purging it. I am here to help with those things. I do very deep healing sessions of the psyche. I do very deep healing sessions of your cosmic level things because there are very few people that can help you get rid of these repeat patterns, your phobias. How would, how would you overcome these hesitations? Sometimes you cannot overcome. Some of you are like in a boat where you feel like you're going over the edge and you are not going to overcome that. The force of the energy is way too much for you. I have ways to help you with that. So from the new moon, this is an active timeline. It is intended to be preparatory from September to April 2024. And that's a highly significant time. That's another closure that's going to happen. We're having some closures now. We're closing out some old timelines. We're closing out some really ancient Egyptian timelines, we're closing out some really ancient planetary timelines of strife that's been here, just here with our ancestors. And some of you have been in those times and places or you have connections to it. What I will say is that from September, it doesn't just start in September, like September 1st, you start to feel it like a momentum, you feel it like a current in a river 
Like it starts carrying you. It starts moving you. Are you confused by this? Are you wondering what's happening? Well, I would say, please come and join me because I get very high level, high level guidance from not only my guides, my higher self, and I have gone through the Ascension cycles. So I, we're way beyond introducing this. We are here in it and aligning the higher will with the lower will so that the lower can move along and do it in a proper way to do it where it's convenient, expedient, efficient. The divine feminine is nothing if she's not efficient. So your soul may force you into a higher alignment. What does this mean? Well, believe it or not, sometimes it's good stuff. It may mean that some aspect of your job kind of shifts into something a little bit better. Did you apply for that? Did you reach out for it? Maybe not, but it's starting to. Maybe it's something to do with your health. You have sort of a health breakthrough and you find that that starts to kind of do a very slow pivot up into a different level for you. You get a good report, okay? Now, these things can happen even as you age. You can feel like, hey, my cholesterol went down or my A1C is back in the normal range or, you know, I really don't have that thing that I thought that everyone in my family had. I call those night and day situations. And if you don't know how to create a night and day situation, it's time for you to join my classes. Now, this new moon, the new moon, may have a lot of what I call the night situations. Like it's not really evil or dark. It's just kind of like where you want to go, huh? Those things that make you go, huh? And you scratch your head and you're saying, why did that happen that way? Why are there forces against me? Why do I feel attacked? Why do I feel like I get kicked in the gut every time I try to move forward? And there it is. You just can't. You just can't. But you can. And that is a part of aligning your, your soul, your higher self, and your higher will aligning the lower will. Finishing the karma. Karmically balancing you. Making sure that you move along because this is your journey. This is what you signed on for. This is what you must stay the course on. So if you're stumped, if you've hit the wall, it's really time to check out my stuff. It is worth it. People really move along with it. Your ascension is not stopping. I want to remind you of that. It, this isn't stopping. It doesn't stop just because you decide you've had enough. It doesn't stop because maybe in your head you think, well, maybe I really wasn't activated. Maybe I really imagined all that. I just want to go back to my old life. No, you don't because it's pretty crappy. And if you're feeling crappy now, just imagine going back down a thousand feet. You would feel really crappy. You can't go backwards. We're going forward. The only way is gaily forward, as we say. Your ascension is not stopping and so neither should you. Don't stop. Don't stop. Pause and breathe, but don't stop. How do you do that? I have the way for you to pace yourself. If you are a twin flame... You have two energies. Sorry, that's not energies. It's two energies. Two. Count them. Two. Two. Two for the price of one. Two people in that unified process. In the unification process. There's you and there's your other who's somewhere. If you met them, you met them. You might be wondering. Stop wondering with your head. Start getting your light body moving and going and clicking and connecting and let me help you with a twin flame reconnection. Focus on your energy. Focus on your energy. How are you feeling today? Do you have energy that you can muster up from somewhere? Do you feel the drudgery of it all? Do you feel a general malaise? Probably yes. And it's not just rainy days and Mondays. It is feeling crappy. Well, there are ways to get you jump-started out of that. There are ways to make your days feel much better and get that heaviness off of you. Get the burden feeling off. You don't need to feel burdened with life. You have to live your life, okay? Life stuff happens, but you need to have the energy for it. 
So we get you by helping you focus on your energy. And then it benefits your other. If you have not met a twin flame, you must still ascend. And you must ascend to a divine counterpart. Now, why is that? Why is that? Because they talk a lot about this process. What if someone's had such a toxic, abusive thing, they just seem, simply need someone to care about them? Okay, that's a divine counterpart. Some people are very happy with a divine counterpart. There are things a divine counterpart cannot do for you. They cannot heal you. They cannot um, merge with you. They can't always uh, remain because that, again, is soul forcing. If you've had a divine counterpart, you may be being pushed to get out of that relationship. But usually it is a stepping stone and it is a be much better quality soulmate, meaning they won't have their toxic stuff. They may have separately worked on themselves. Can you bring all of your garbage into a brand new relationship? No. This is why you should focus on your light body and transition so that you are focusing on your energies. Why? Because it's preparatory. There's a lot that's going to happen in the next several months. So about a six to seven month period here that will carry you through almost three season changes. It's going to be intense. So please, I'm going to say this. This is why I offer monthly webinars. This is why I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions, deep healings, deep multidimensional healings, books, readings, and coaching. And not only that, I have taught people to be a twin flame body practitioner because it takes a special training to be able to determine what's going on with two energies. Not just that there is another energy, but what's going on with you and what's going on with your true other half, wherever they are, even if they're sitting right next to you. So thank you so much for watching and please uh, try the links are in the descriptions below and have a great day. Bye. Like, subscribe and share my video.